I'm going to try boring out this uh, colored shark one more time. One more time to see if I can get a uh, decent surface finish for your uh, amusement and uh, my education and uh, documentation. After that I will throw this thing in the uh, recycle drum. Someone uh, reminded me that uh, this boring bar holder might set uh, the pointy bit too low and he's right because this uh, reamed out hole might uh, be a little bit oversized and uh, the boring bar itself is probably a little bit smaller than uh, 12 millimeter so the pointy bit is uh, probably just uh, below um, center height but I guess uh, that also depends on uh, how the uh, set screws uh, press down on the uh, tool shank. I cut out this uh, metal shim that's uh, about 0.4 of a millimeter thick. Maybe a bit uh, too much, but at least the uh, pointy bit will be uh, well above uh, center height, where I think it uh, should be for internal turning work. But instead of this, I'm going to use a piece of sandpaper. It will be uh, better at compensating uh, small surface irregularities. And it is also about uh, 0.4 of a millimeter thick. Um, just to be sure, I have uh, replaced that uh, VP15TF uh, insert with a new one. The old one still looked fine, but uh, you never know. Uh, better safe than uh, sorry. I did order some of these uh, small inserts with a blue nano coating, but unfortunately those uh, haven't shown up yet. Um, this time I uh, set the uh, maximum frequency on the uh, VFD to 100 Hz, so I can run the uh, spindle at about uh, 1000 RPM, and that should be pretty close to what uh, carbide needs. I will also have my assistant uh, blow the spindle hole again to uh, clear out the uh, chips. Okay, we're touching. Dialing in a uh, similar cut as last time, about uh, two tenths of a millimeter. Increasing the uh, speed to a thousand RPM. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Again, I forgot to use uh, the loop. Yeah, but I think it might be a little better. I will add it in a uh, picture. A picture sure isn't uh, flattering to the uh, surface finish. But still, the uh, surface finish seems to uh, get worse as you get deeper inside the bore. I wonder why that is. Could it be harder? No idea. Maybe uh, the assistant uh, needs to blow harder. But then the air tank gets uh, emptied out uh, rather quickly. I say uh, we try again. There is still a bit of uh, colored shock left. I'm ready to try again. And this time I will be using a, a bit of WD-40 as a lubricant. Thousand RPM, some loop. There you go.
again this time I could not see feel or hear how deep I was cutting so I did slow down uh, when I got deeper in the bore and maybe even went too far but we will see Uh, that's definitely not better than the last time and uh, deeper inside it might even be worse and as usual I will add it in a picture right about now looking at this uh, picture the second attempt might actually be a little better but that could also be the uh, quality of the picture compared to the uh, first here's a side-by-side -side view And here is a picture after using some sandpaper. A little better, but certainly not the uh, mirror finish I've been uh, chasing. But it might have been good enough for a color chuck. I guess uh, we will never know. Lucky for me, and uh, perhaps also you, I found a large piece of uh, high speed steel. I think this uh, came with the uh, red fisher lathe that I once owned. It's two centimeters thick and as you can see that's higher than the uh, center height of the lathe so the pointy bit can be ground down to just above center height although it will probably take all night to uh, mold this into a fitting boring bar so coming soon is uh, high speed steel really better for a good surface finish okay bye for now